on this episode of Finding a Gym that is open because of some smart ass who wanted to enjoy some bat soup. I think we did it. Let's pray that it don't get closed while we go there. So I'm going to add a little bit more chaos into your video. All the gyms are closing, bro. No, the city that I'm going to now, they're actually like having a meeting at this moment if they're going to have the gym open or not. Last minute, all the gyms are like, they close. BS scoop for BS ball. What is good everyone, Magnus Balkin here and in today's video we're on a quest. We're on a quest to find a new and sick training gym because my gym recently got shut down due to Corona which is understandable but it fucking sucks. Me and my friend Jack were going to try to find another gym to train at. We're going to do that in a few hours but what I'm doing right now is that I'm going to eat a pretty big breakfast. So the breakfast consists of four bread slices. Two of the bread slices got eggs on top of them and the two other ones got raspberry jam on top of it and I also got a bowl of fruit which consists of kiwi and apples so yeah going to enjoy this huge breakfast right now huge breakfast <laughs> i eat more than that for a snack oh yeah <laughs> and this video is going to be pretty interesting because yeah we're just going to try to find another gym and we're going to travel a bit to do so as well because priorities <laughs> What up, Jackie boy? I'm filming for YouTube, man. Oh, you're filming for YouTube, boy? Yeah, bro, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more chaos into your video. Oh shit, just do it. Fuck it. So, all the gyms are closing, bro. No, are you kidding? We're back at square one right Fuck. now. Fuck. Do, do you think the gyms where Oscar stays, do you think that they're open? Uh, or do you know? It's worth a try. It's worth a try. I mean, we can try and call him. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Ah, fuck yeah, so the gym is closed pretty much everywhere, but I'm going to talk to my other friend Oscar, so yeah, going to hit up Oscar and ask if the gyms are open where he lives. <laughs> Yo bro, I got a quick question. Is the gym open in your town? And also, can you give me my poop sock back? Yo, what's good in the hood, bruh? Uh, and yeah, it is open. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> uh, and I'm about to stop, bro. Sorry, I've already ejaculated in it. So, we found the gym. We found a fucking gym. The gym that we were originally going to go to, it was closed. It closed like literally like one hour ago. So yeah, so yeah it all happens like super spontaneously. But we found a freaking gym. I'm so excited about this i'm just so grateful that i can find some gym to train at because if not i'm going to go insane mentally i think we did it let's pray that it don't get close while we go there then <laughs> i'm gonna be mad so after all this time we finally found the gym so i'm really excited that i'm going to hit a hard ass training session and the city that i'm going to now they're actually like having a meeting at this moment if they're going to have the gym open or not but i guess we'll find out pretty soon Right. What's good, bro? How you doing, brother? I'm doing you good, ready? man. Are you excited about this training bro, session? I'm so excited. Another lockdown, another lockdown. Hopefully, it will only last for three weeks. Yeah, though. It is. They say that the first time as well. They were like, yeah. oh, it's just a couple of weeks, and then it'll be like two months or what? More than two months, probably like four months <laughs> yeah, or something. So we're staying optimistic. I'm just really looking forward to hitting this training session because it's probably going to be most likely going to be the last one in a while so yeah, yeah go, we're going to just go all in in this training session and make it a good all one in. yeah uh, upper body right upper body i'm following magnus's plan today so uh, yeah we're going to work out together so yeah. that's that's a nice date for us that's a good day okay jack okay do you want to tell them some of our struggle today how hard it has been to just find the gym that Bruh, has been it's, open it's been a struggle like three times today we're trying to find like 
different gym and yeah. like last minute all the gyms has like they closed literally like five minutes yeah after last we minute about. we had to like replan everything and find a new one after a new one and it's yeah. been a struggle man to say the least yeah it's been <laughs> pretty stressful yeah but thankfully now though we're like 10 minutes away from a gym that we found that is open hopefully uh, they're still open though. yeah ho hopefully <laughs> this is going to be the last time we're training in a gym for like how many weeks three yeah, probably. So we're going to train at home with that minimum I, I, amount of equipment? I don't know if I'm even going to train at home oh, because shit. I just hate it so much. <laughs> I think I'm just going to try to find new goals that's not like training related. Running so maybe? I, maybe maybe, you're maybe, I, running. maybe actually. Maybe. Yeah. I'll at least yeah find some new goals. I'm definitely goals. going to run uh, while the gyms are closing. Yeah, now I definitely don't have any excuses. Well. <laughs> no excuses. I'll, I'll just stop strength training and only run so that I just become skinny as fuck. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Now me and Jack is going to mouth fuck pre-workouts. For sure. Bro, that's a big ass scoop. Yeah, big ass scoop for big ass balls. You know hey. what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, bro. Uh, oh, you go, girl. Uh, it's it's a pretty old pre workout, so it has like a lot of yeah, lumps in it. Definitely not, not the best man. way to mouth fuck it. I usually don't mouth fuck it, but I just so decided to do it yeah. now because yeah, it just hits you harder when you take it all at Straight once. Straight through, baby. This is probably going to be the last gym session in a while, so we're going to make the most out of it and 100%. make it a fucking sick training Ass session edit. <laughs> yeah you, yeah you're going to see the sickest training edit this is going to be aesthetic it's going to blow youtube away man yeah it's going to get this video demonetized even oh, though i don't make money off of youtube nasty. in the first place yeah <laughs> let's go Beer, by the way, it's just Christmas soda. <laughs> Tastes good as fuck, though. 
so that soda gave me some good vibes but I gotta break those good vibes because yeah I had an amazing training session but the gym that we just went to it has now been shut down so I literally have no gym to train at at the moment and it kind of sucks because I had a lot of goals that were aligned with going to the gym and getting stronger but now I just gotta change my goals so that they can fit to these circumstances. I think that this can apply to a lot of you as well because yeah, I know that the gym has been shut down a lot of places, but if you're someone like me who hates training at home, not saying that you need to skip it altogether, but you don't have to be as consistent with it. You've trained for a while probably, so yeah, it's pretty easy to preserve muscle then. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on other aspects of my life while the gym is being shut down. So yeah, this might be like a very bad situation that the gym shut down and closed so that we can't really achieve our strength and physique goals. But there's always something positive you can take from a negative situation always especially in circumstances like this because yeah i might not be able to get jacked now or not saying that body weight training doesn't work and stuff but yeah not optimal and it's not fun so i'm not going to do it or at least not as much now that i have a lot more spare time i can focus that on other aspects in my life that is going to help me grow either mentally or yeah just learn a skill get a new passion get better at something, do something that I put off to the side for a while. Just to give you a few examples, I'm going to be focusing more on fixing my hamstring because if you didn't know, I've had a hamstring injury for a while now and it hasn't healed yet and it sucks because I really want to train legs so I should just fix it now so that when the gym is open I can train my hamstring, I can train my quads, I can get big legs because my legs are tiny as fuck and I hate it. So I'm just going to focus on rehabilitating my hamstring so that I can train my legs and and other, other things that I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus a lot more on just yeah, improving myself mentally. I'm reading a book at the moment that's called The Motivation Manifesto. I strongly recommend that book. I couldn't recommend it enough. That book has helped me a lot lately because yeah, I've just been struggling with finding motivation, finding purpose. And when you don't have those things, you won't be able to stay disciplined or enjoy the things that you're doing. So I'm basically just trying to figure shit out in life because yeah, it's all a mess in my head right now. I don't want to ramble on when it comes to my problems and such though. So yeah, not going to bore you with that. But just remember that even though the gym has closed, yeah, it fucking sucks, not gonna lie. I love the gym, I've been training consistently for like 6 years so I fucking love the gym so much, it means a lot to me so yeah, it sucks that it's close but it, it's not going to make it any better to just like pity yourself and feel bad for yourself but what you gotta do is to change your goals so that you can work towards your goals meanwhile the gym is being closed so if you're in the same boat as me just remember that yeah it sucks but you at least have more spare time now and something negative can always turn to something positive it just depends on how you perceive it you have more time focus on other stuff that matter to you get new hobbies, be more creative, do the stuff that you've been putting off for a while and just, yeah, make the most out of this situation because you have more time now. Enough about this rambling though, my shoulder hurts as crazy just because, yeah, I'm holding up this camera which weighs a bit. If you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video. And if you didn't like the video, of course, dislike it and tell me what I can improve on in the comment section below. My shoulder hurts as fuck. My name is Max Volk and I'll see you next one. Peace.